journal. My name is Jules and this is just my journal really about all the crafty things I get up to, all the nice things that make life happy and content. Um, I have no notes today. This could be dangerous. It could be good. I could be better without notes. We'll see, won't we? <laughs> today is the 2nd of December. It's a beautiful, sunny, frosty morning. And Advent season has started. I have to say, I am feeling really sad that I'm not participating in Vlogmas this year. Really sad. In fact, I went to bed last night and had a few tears about it. But I... Oh, I don't want to get too heavy too soon. I'll talk about that a bit later, hey? Um, so, I'm having a coffee, as usual. It's decaf. I did have a caffeine one this morning. My This is my Emma Bridgewater. They used to be called baby mugs, but now they're called small mugs. don't know why. I like them being called baby mugs, but I guess they're not for babies. I don't know. So... I've basically forgotten already everything I need to tell you. <laughs> so perhaps it's not going to go so well. So I'm back anyway. Two weeks since my last one. I'm pleased about that. Um, okay, so a bit about me. I live in West Sussex with my husband, PT. I have two grown-up children who both live away from home, but not too far away. Um, but my eldest, Bryony, my daughter, she works for me now, so she is here quite a lot. Um, and she's here, she's downstairs at the moment. She's packing your lovely orders at the moment. And then she's going to be sewing up some gorgeous project bags while I'm chatting to you. Oh, we also have a dog called Mabel who is a whippet. She's six years old and she's very sweet. <laughs> I think that's everything I need to say, isn't it? Where you can find me. Okay, so um, you can find our shop. I say our shop because Brian is with me now. And we sell all sorts of lovely products and handmade items for knitters, crocheters, crafters. And our shop is www.sosweetviolet.co.uk. You can find us on Instagram. I've realised just lately, actually, that my Instagram feed has become a bit too serious, a bit too businessy, and I'm not very happy about that. So I'm going to try really hard. It's, it's a very fine balance. When you have an online business, it's a very fine balance between helping your business grow and sharing personal things and especially now I have Bryony working for me I have wages to pay which is quite scary you know um, but it's not what I want it to be that is not what I want for So Sweet Violet I want to obviously be able to pay Bryony's wages but I I like sharing personal things probably more than sharing online shoppy things. So I'm going to try and rectify that. Um, where was I going with this conversation? I don't know. I woke up with a headache this morning and I've taken Cocodamol. And, uh, hmm. <laughs> My brain never works that well, but I think, I think I just want to curl up and have a nap, actually. I almost didn't record this yesterday, I was thinking. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to record my journal tomorrow, because I had a really painful day yesterday, and I spent most of the day on the sofa with heat pads, feeling really sad. I had FOMO, which is fear of missing out, because I didn't know that a while ago, <laughs> about Vlogmas. Um, but I'm here, so I decided I, I can't do Vlogmas this year because it's just, 
is just too much and too overwhelming for me at the moment. So I decided to keep my journals um, flowing every couple of weeks and the vlog at the end will be kind of a mini kind of vlogmasy bit. Today's is only a tinkering of um, vlogmas because it's only the second day. Um, I did open my advent calendars yesterday and I shall open mine in, in a maybe at the end of this this journal for you as well well not for you for me really but I'll share with you so um have I told you everything I need to tell you I think I have all the things I talk about and where you can find me will be linked below this video on YouTube in fact YouTube have changed the layout lately I've noticed so yeah you just I can't remember how you do it but all the details are below you have to click on something to expand the page let's move on to in the making I have a few things I have I don't know what's happened lately I don't want to work on anything big at all so I am working on all little things but not socks I'm not feeling socks either what is happening my first in the making is actually a wondrous dishcloth um, what's happened here um, and I'm making these for Bryony I say these because she's picked out some colours I've gone rogue on this <laughs> it's my own pattern and I thought I knew it off by heart and I started knitting it and I was thinking that doesn't look like the ones I have already because I use them every single day of my life every single day of my life sounds very dramatic <laughs> um, but this is a different pattern I've got some plain knit rows in between the texture which actually looks really nice but it's not what the pattern is oh look cute little progress keeper these are in our shop at the moment aren't they lovely little Christmas tree with a bell on um, so this came about because I made Bryony and her fiance George some washcloths I think probably when they first moved into their flat and that was about three years ago now and I kept saying do you use your dishcloths because every time I went round there I couldn't see them and um George that's Bryony's George does the washing up most of the time and Bryony said no George doesn't really like them mum he's he's fussy with wash dishcloths so I was like hmm, well if you're not going to use them can I have them back please because I use them every day anyway just recently she said to me oh could you make us some more dishcloths for Christmas please because apparently all of a sudden they're George's favourite washing up tool which I'm thrilled about. It's funny, isn't it? Just took them so long to know that they wanted them. Anyway, apparently he washed up a knife with one and literally sliced it in half. His <laughs> He used to be a trainee butcher and um, we bought him some really sharp knives for Christmas once and I think he basically sliced the wondrous dishcloth in half. So <laughs> they've only got one now and two halves so she asked for some more um, and I said well just go through my stash of cotton yarn and pick what you like so she picked these three colors oh, let me tidy it up she picked these three colors this is my favorite I don't think they have names um, Hang on a second. Uh, I think it's the number. So this is 398. This is 261. And this one, the green one, is 392. So I'm knitting some wondrous dishcloth for them for Christmas. And I just really love just a simple, quick... What's that word? You know, quick satisfaction item so yeah very simple um this is how do you say this word I 
Who's fair to say this word? It's not she peas. I don't know, but I'm gonna call it she peas because I can't remember how to say it properly. It's she peas cotton katona, and I love these little balls because they're just 50 grams. Oh no, they're not, sorry, they're 25 grams, and that's the perfect amount for a dishcloth. So I am knitting some of those for Christmas. So that's my first in the making. It's in last year's advent bag, actually. Put that back in there. Look what Bryony gave me this morning. She worked from home yesterday and she made this. Well, this didn't all happen yesterday. It's been in the making. She made this big pile of lovely um, notions pouches for the shop. Aren't they lovely? Uh, look at this one. I love this one. The lining is gold. So pretty. Um, and this one had a little crease on the front, which I don't mind at all. And she said, oh, would you like that one, Mum? And I'm like, yes, it matches. Look at that. So, yeah, so I got a little Notions pouch. Inside my Notions pouch, there's not much, actually, because I only set this up this morning. Got my scissors. They're in our shop, actually. They're Merchant and Mills, and they're lovely. I got a really old highlighter. And what else have I got? Oh, I've got some Progress Keepers and Stitch Markers. Oh, some of these are so cute. This was a gift from a lovely friend. I've had this one quite a long time. This one is a, oh no, not that one. This was a gift from my lovely friend Susie, who's Elderflower Stitches. Little band, is so cute. And this is a bundle of um, Swarovski crystals that we sell in our shop. I like to keep some of these in my um, Notions pouch, whichever one it is, at all times, because that's the one thing I always need is um, stitch markers. And these, I don't know if you can see very well the colours on here. This is our Nutcracker set. I do love Swarovski crystals. So yeah, that's what I got in my notions pouch. <laughs> and I'm thrilled actually, because I don't very often keep any of our things. But look, I actually have a set. How exciting. Um, right, so that's the first in the making. The second in the making, which is in my gorgeous sandy bag. Sandy by the lakeside. Oh, I love Sandy. I see she's got a Vlogmas up. I'm so excited to watch some Vlogmases. Oh, talking of Vlogmas, this is a Vlogmas project. Um, this is the... No words. This is the Polston Scarf by my lovely, lovely friend Amy, who is Taylor S. Studio, who has just had the sweetest little baby oh my goodness I had cuddles with him last week and he is such a little darling I adore him he is gorgeous in fact I'm his honorary fairy godmother what about that for a title so this is how far I've got on my what is happening here Let's unravel that. This is how far I've got on my Polston scarf. So, not a huge amount, but you can kind of see it happening. It's such a pretty pattern. And this is also using one of my advents, which was the Dandelion and Dogwood advent. Um, and I got the Singles and Surrey Alpaca collection advent. So I'm doing, so this is day one. And then you get the matching Surrey for the next day. So this is today's colour, oh, so pretty. So I'll be doing alternate singles and Surrey. Loving it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna to manage to keep up because life, but I'm not putting 
pressure on myself. I touched upon this a little bit earlier, but I wrote a list of all the things I wanted to do, or you know, not even wanted to do, but felt pressurised from myself to do. Um, I was feeling really overwhelmed and I thought the only way to tackle this is to write everything down and then look at it with fresh eyes and think, I don't need to do that, I don't need to do that, 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 that. And I halved my list and I felt so much better. And it's only pressure from myself, so yeah. So I am going to be loving that and the pattern is beautiful. I will put a little picture in probably this side because it's more space <laughs> um of the scarf but it's beautiful amy's done a lovely job amy's patterns are always so beautifully written so that's number two uh number three. <laughs> okay so last was it last weekend? I think it was last weekend. Oh yes, it was. I wanted to finish my Christmas shopping. Um, and Pete and I went to Guildford, which is our nearest big town. Actually, I felt quite sad because so many of the shops had closed. And I feel like I carry a bit of guilt about that because I just order so much more online than I used to. We all do, don't we? But it's really sad when you go back to a high street, because I've been going to Guildford since I was a child, really. And it's just so sad. It's just not what it used to be. And it did make me feel really sad, actually. But anyway, I popped into anthropology just for a browse. I was very good. I didn't buy anything. I'm trying to be very unspendy at the moment. <laughs> um, popped into anthropology and they had knitted scrunchies. Actually, there's a bit of story to the scrunchies. I wore scrunchies in the 80s and probably 90s and then they went right out of fashion, didn't they? And then a few months ago, Bryony came to work and she had a scrunchie in. I, I teased her, I said, wearing a scrunchie that's very old-fashioned they're from the 80s and she's like no mum no mum you need to keep up they're really in now and um after she said that all I saw everywhere was scrunchies <laughs> I still kind of quite I still can't quite get my head around the fact that they're back but they are they are and if anthropology are selling them then you know that's pretty good isn't it so I was just having a little browse in anthropology, thinking, oh, I'd love to buy this, I'd love to buy this. I could do with a new Christmas mug. No, I couldn't. <laughs> I saw, now I, I looked at them very briefly and I'm not sure if they were knitted or crochet scrunchies, but either way, they were yarn scrunchies. And I didn't really think much of it. And I came home and I just wanted to knit something small. I get these ideas of small things and I can't get them out of my head. So I thought I'd knit a scrunchie. And this is what I came up with. And Bryony says, it's really comfy. There are definitely some tweaks I want to make to this because my edging is quite rigid, although it does have quite a lot of stretch still. But and I'm quite happy with the amount of gather, I think. I used fingering weight yarn, just leftovers. Um, this was a gift, I think a couple of Christmases ago from my lovely friend Meg, who is Woolen Cookies. And I seem to remember it's called Fox Gloves or something like that. I can't remember the brand because I haven't got the label anymore. But um, I thought, how am I gonna do the center bit? Am I going to sew elastic together? And then I thought, hang on a minute, I could use like a ready-made hair elastic and then I was seeing these things all over the place and they're the kind of coily things so I bought some of these in my food shop <laughs> look at that and I put this inside my tube 
and then I cast off um, I cast off whilst also catching the cast on edge and it made this gorgeous kind of it's hard to see um, kind of ridge so I'm really chuffed with that I'm going to tweak things I'm going to use a different size needle to cast on and cast off with but if I can get it right I thought I'd just put it out as a pattern it'll be like a one pound pattern or something like that um, so yeah it's quite fun isn't it so my next one is going to be this yarn which is Circus Tonic Handmade in Musk Brickheat. Oh, let's, let's just gloss over the name for now. So it's just a lovely peachy pink yarn. So I'm going to have a go with that because I think my girls, oh, hello. I think my girls, which includes my son's girlfriend Chloe oh I think she might watch this Chloe if you're watching forget you heard anything about this I think they may like some knitted scrunchies so I'm quite pleased about that that is all no it's not I've got one more knitting Ooh, what's that? oh I wondered where that gone just found my lip balm we sell these in the shop Oh, they're lovely. This one is Sweet Orange Lip Balm. I have lip balms everywhere um, and hand creams. The little hand creams, you know, you sometimes get tiny hand creams. I love those. Right, so that's that. And the only other thing I have in the making, well, that I've been working on anyway, is my Happy Patchwork Baby Blanket. I've done quite a lot more because I'm really loving it. I think I only had three rows when I showed you last time and now I'm on my one, two, three, four, five, my sixth row. Oh, it's such a nice project. I just, when I'm in need of some comfort, this kind of thing is what I reach for and it's, so beautiful and I enjoy all the little bits of yarn and I'm lucky enough to have <laughs> a whole tin of beautiful little bits that I just they're almost artwork aren't they I just love them so much um so I talked about this more in depth my last journal so if you want to know a bit more about that I will put the link up there to my last journal so that's that and I have one more in the making although I haven't worked on it since September I'm planning to so I thought I'd talk about it on here I'm just gonna have some more coffee this is a sewing in the making I'm sure many of you have heard of, or addicted to, or follow Pretty Fabrics and Trims. Um, and that's Sarah and her mum Penny and Sarah's husband Andy. They have this gorgeous company and this is what I'm making. I have lots of her kits and I intend to do more sewing. So I started this when I went on holiday with Bryony on our little retreat in September. Shall I put a link, a link to that video up here? I'm making this video really hard work for myself because I'm going to have to sort out all those links now, but never mind. I'll do it for you. So this is what I've done. It's called the Sew a Little Happiness Everyday Winter Sampler and it comes as a piece of white linen, that's better, and it has all the pictures, I'm terrified of my coffee, let's move that, it has all the little pictures embroidered on, 
Oh, and some of the blank squares have English paper piecing and other bits like that. And I, all I've done is the word winter. I'm doing this with my friend Rachel, who is so rain me, and this is our little kind of mindfulness project. We're doing it together. I'm really looking forward to getting stuck back into it. We're going to be working on the book and the trees next, I think, and then we're going to work our way up to the stars. But it's so pretty. Look at that. I actually have all of them, spring, summer, autumn, winter. And they did bring out a Christmas one. I was so tempted, but I didn't get it because that would be extreme. <laughs> but I do want it. Anyway, so that is my sewing in the making. And it, the kit comes with all of the fabrics, the batting, the thread, um, the binding, everything you need. So it's a really lovely kit that you don't really have to think about buying extra things. I think all I had to find was some needles and a hoop. So that's pretty good, isn't it? And this is in a bag. Oh, I love this bag so much. And it was sent to me as a gift by a gorgeous friend, Oh, how lovely is it? Look inside. Ah, oh, it is liberty. Oh, it's gorgeous. Oh, I forgot to show you my bag. What was in here? My scrunchie bag. Oh, this is from my gorgeous friend Cherie. I love Cherie. There we go. That was, I think that was last year, a little Christmas present last year. It's so lovely. Look at those cupcakes. Oh, that's so nice. Right, so that is all of my in the making. No, it's not. I lied. Okay, so my next in the making is also kind of partly a finished thing and in the making. So, did I share last time about a sock blank? I think I did and I was turning it into wrist warmers. Gosh, I hope I did. Anyway, I had this sock blank that lovely Kelly or Nick or Megan, I'm not sure who did it, but one of the lovely lay family on workers, <laughs> that sounds so weird, doesn't it, did me or, or cranked me a sock tube. And this is a sock tube, isn't it pretty? And I have now a hatred of afterthought heels. I just don't like them, can't get on with them, don't enjoy them, can't make them look nice. Because this is what the sock blank was for. No, the sock snake was for. And um, I had a tantrum with the first one and the heel. It didn't go well. And then I'm watching a podcast and I cannot for the life of me think who it was. But they said about making wrist warmers with the sock blank. That was such a good idea. So I've made these for Bryony. They'll go in her Christmas stocking. So all I did, so I had a really long sock snake and I put a cuff on one end. Then I cut it in half, put a sock on another end. Now hang on. Put a sock on the other end, what am I talking about? Let me show you this one that's in the making. <laughs> so I had half of a sock blank. Yes, a cuff on each end, and the next job now is to put my needles in, fold it in half, put my needles in to catch the legs of the stitches, leaving, so I'll have two needles going round, and I'll have a row of stitches in the middle that are just ready to be cut. So I'll cut that and then I will put this part on. So basically I'm gonna end up with four of these out of one sock blank. I think I probably did about, it looks like about 22 rounds of rib on that end. And let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, 
pearl ridges on this end. Um, and they're really nice, they're perfect length. Oh, happening here. So they're a perfect length, they're really cosy, and they're so simple. I like them a lot. So these are going to be brinies. Oh, I used two point. Did I use. Where's my. Where's my needle? I had a needle for them. I think I used 2.25, or I might have used 2.5. Let me see. I used 2.5. Use 2.5 needles. Magic loop. And just found a contrast colour. This is Bryony's contrast colour. This is my contrast colour because this is my favourite colour in the universe. Bryony rather likes it too, but. And there we go. So I need to turn my one into two pieces. But yeah, that was my other in the making unfinished things. So let's move on to finished things. Finished things. So I have those wrist warmers and I've kind of got a finished thing slashed pattern but I think it was a finished thing in my last episode. But this time the pattern is released. I don't think the pattern was released last time and it's for my Tiddly Pom neck snuggler. Oh, this is so cosy. This is my latest pattern. Um, and it's, I don't want to mess my Heidi plaits up. Oh. And it's an advent pattern. Um, and it has alternate rounds of a tiddly pom round and a plain round, a tiddly pom round and a plain round. And so it goes. So let me talk to you, oh gosh, let me talk to you a little bit about this because it's prime advent time, isn't it? It's knit in the round um, and it's knit out of one strand of fingering weight and one strand of Surrey Silk Alpaca held together. You could also use mohair. You could also use two strands of fingering weight yarn held together, or you could use one strand, oh, fluffy, or you could use one strand of DK. Um, and it's a super simple, super achievable advent knit because all you need to do is this one little section a day. And it's quite chunky because you're holding yarns together. Um, so one day you'll get the fun of the tiddly poms, which I love. Oh, look, so cute. Do you love a tiddly pom? <laughs> um, and the next day you'll just have a plain day. Tiddly pom day, plain day, tiddly pom day, plain day. And you start it off with a provisional cast on. You could either do the crochet you could either do crochet provisional or knitted provisional. Um, and at the end, you kitchener together. And I know lots of people don't like kitchener, but I really enjoy it. I think it's really methodical. I give a reminder in the pattern of how to do it. And I guess if you really did not like kitchener, you could stitch it together. So I love it. <laughs> I used lots of beautiful bits from my stash including some west green loft yarn advent colors some dandelion and dogwood advent yarns not from this year but from previous years um yeah and it's really snuggly so this is my tiddly pom neck snuggler okay so that's that what have i got next what do I normally talk about now? Do I finish my coffee? Coffee's all gone. 
oh, I know what I've got to talk about next. I had a few little treats recently sent to me, which has been lovely. Look, this is Sydney. <laughs> oh, Sydney Snowman. Can you guess who sent me Sydney Snowman? My lovely friend Bex, who is Bex Creates, who has Vlogmas. I watched her first Vlogmas last night and I'm really excited about it. Um, we've been doing a yarn swap to do with the Rainbow Sock Chronicles. Um, we were swapping yarn every month, just a little bit to knit mini socks. I gave up. But Bex is still going strong and doing really well. And um, even though I gave up, I found some yarn to send Bex so that she can continue. And she has been sending me some of hers. I am going to start using mine in my Happy Patchwork Baby Blanket. Anyway, with the last ones, look, she sent Sydney. Isn't he adorable? Now, I can't remember. It's not Susan B. Anderson. Susan Claudino. This is a Susan Claudino pattern. I remember her talking about it. Isn't he sweet? Thanks, Bex. I love him. So cute. Also, another treat I've received is this. Now, this in itself is stunning, isn't it? It's so pretty. The colours are just divine but i am going to put up a picture here of what this makes and now what do you think it's mind-blowing isn't it this is um a pattern by my lovely friend deborah from candy shop yarns and half of meanwhile at the castle um and she was so sweet and she gifted me the yarn along with some of my other friends we have um a whatsapp group and oh, so, so lovely. I feel like I have some of the most wonderful friends in the world. I do have the most wonderful friends in the world, actually. Anyway, I would love to make these socks, but I don't have the brain space at the moment for anything more complicated than a hair scrunchie, let's face it, or a square. So I think I am going to make these next July. I'm going to try and do that. And then there's no pressure, is there? Because you're not near Christmas or anything. But isn't this gorgeous? Oh, it's so lovely. And that pattern is beyond beautiful and clever. It's just gorgeous. And I will be making them. Um, thank you, Deborah. And honestly, I... I know the pattern is going to be amazing because Deborah writes incredible patterns. Also, oh, um, I think I spoke last episode about not being able to go to the Woolle retreat, which is run by Kelly, Nick and Megan Lay. Um, and I couldn't go and I was really sad about it. But look what the ladies did. The retreat is one of the main things of it is dyeing your own yarn colour or your your own yarn colourway and um, even though I wasn't there what they do is you dye a main colour like a big skein and you also dye minis I think I think that's how it works unless you dye two main skeins and the mini and the it gets divided into minis I'm not sure anyway even though I wasn't there Kelly sent me a bundle of minis and I love them so, so much. So all the ladies that were at the Woolley Retreat, thank you so very much. And I know this one was dyed especially for me by Kat because she sent me a little video, honestly. It was so lovely and it's so pretty. But these yarns are gorgeous. Oh, this colour. This colour sings to my heart. Who dyed this one? If you're watching, let me know. But they're all beautiful. And honestly, it's just so heartwarming to be thought of. So thank you very much. Um, 
I don't think I have anything else to say. So we've done in the making, finish things. Oh, some vlogmases. I see there's lots and lots to watch. Um, I was very excited last night because I saw that Nicole, the gentle knitter, is doing vlogmas and I love her. She is so, if you want to chill and lower your anxiety levels she's perfect but there's all my favorites um i need to go and have a watch of some and see who's new and yeah i'm so excited i'm not going to mention them because i'm always terrified i'm going to forget somebody but i am very excited i feel very sad not to be doing it but you can't have it all see if i was doing it i wouldn't be able to watch them all so you know we are planning on going to get our Christmas tree this afternoon. I'm going to let Pete choose because he's chosen for the last four years maybe and he's picked really good trees. When I go, I like get them all out as well. I get Petey, I'm like, can you get that one out? Can you get that one out? Can we compare these two? He goes in, sees a tree, I'll have that one, thank you. And it's always been lovely. I do get worried because Mm, this lucky this lucky spell probably can't last but we'll see so I'm gonna let him choose right I think all that's left for me to do is open my advent calendars so this year I have I've done I purchased one advent calendar and I've done three three swaps so this is a swap from my lovely friend Danielle who is Nox Yarn. You'll see a little clip in the vlog at the end showing yesterday's colour. Oh my goodness, that is beautiful. Wild Hunt. Look at that, pinks and browns. That is absolutely stunning. Oh, that is that is really, really beautiful. A little bit of pink makes everything wonderful, doesn't it? Um, my other swap was from my lovely friend Kelly. I lied. I have four advents because I swapped with Amy and Jen, Dandelion and Dogwood as well. So this is Kelly's and Kelly's is a rainbow. Oh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yesterday's was similar, but a lot paler. So oh, that's going to make, do you know what that would make? It would make a lovely, wouldn't it make a lovely tiddly pom? That's very tempting. Quite tempted to do that. Um, Dandelion and Dogwood you've already seen because I showed you my um, Polston scarf. And this is the one I purchased this year. And this is from Pineapple Yarns. I love her bright aesthetic, which is funny because I'm not normally massively a bright fan, but I just, I love the way she puts colours together. Look at this! And again, you'll see yesterday's in, oh, sorry about that. You'll see yesterday's in the vlog at the end. Oh, so fun. It's called Sea Breeze. Um, oh, it's called Day Two, so it hasn't got a name. We're actually saying that it might have a leaflet in it. Can't remember. So they're so pretty. So this is my advents today. so lovely so lovely also find them really heartwarming because I feel like this is just from friends <laughs> so I think that's me done I'm sure there are a million other things I wanted to chat to you about oh I should tell you what I'm wearing this is <laughs> I can't remember what it's called I can't remember the pattern is by I can't remember I will link it below very pretty though 
Flossy, I think it's my Flossy card again. It's very pretty and it's knit out of a lovely silk yarn from Dandelion and Dogwood. I've got a little hole. I need to, where is it? Oops. I've got a little hole that I need to fix here. I need to fix that. And I'm also wearing one of our knitters bracelets, which are also in the shops. There's stitch markers, progress keepers, all the pretty things. Um, and I have hand knit socks on, but I don't think you need to see those. So I think that's me. I shall hopefully see you in a couple of weeks. Enjoy December and Vlogmas. I know I will. Sending love to you all. Bye.